Hi guys. All right. I'm going to do this with my new phone and hopefully everything will go smoothly. <laughs> All right guys. So, hello. Uh look. I know that there's a lot of questions and I've kind of been torn about talking to people about the problems, the issues that y'all bring up which have been done in my other 600 videos or to talk about what's been going on in the last six months and I've kind of gone back and forth on that but I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on what's going on now and what has been happening because there are some things that are happening that I think y'all need to be aware of so first of all let me attempt to explain what has been going on at least from my perspective and there's a lot of things going on mine isn't the only perspective or nor the only thing that's going on but primarily what <clears throat> what I've been working on with the help of a couple groups that are now on like automatic pilot continuing the work but hopefully there is no um, negative effects on the people that are involved that's been set up and they're doing really well and I am very grateful grateful very grateful to those people and you guys know who you are so my thanks again from me and Gaia for the work that you've done over the last year. So then what happened? <clears throat> All right, there were a lot of things that were put in place. So I know that you all have heard about people who I think that go along ley lines and they've talked about going to the grid and correcting the grid on the planet. And I've used that word too because I don't know what else to call it. But let's start from there. Okay, so the reason why, and these, these lines are true inside of a human body as well, that's what they use for acupressure and acupuncture. And the reason why they have felt or look like or been translated into lines when they're really not, they're not lines that are still and never have been. There's nothing on this planet, there's nothing anywhere that's truly still. Everything moves all the time, all the time. That's just a part of, of who we are and what we are, that it's always changing. Now, when we went into the third dimension, the third dimension is kind of like you take a square of material and you look very closely at that square and you can see the different stitches. You, and then you go closer and you can see the thread. If you went closer still, you could see thread that was making that thread that you can see. If you went closer still, you could see the whatever it was that they made the thread out of. Let's say it was wool. You could identify strands of wool that were all weaved together in order to make that. Then you could go even closer and you could see cells. You could go even closer and you could see molecules. You could go even closer you could see atoms. You could go in even closer and closer and closer. This could keep going on forever. Okay? So what happens with the third dimension is they, take, they took a part of the all that is and they really went down and looked at it in its, let's say that they went from a, a dress all the way down to an atomic level. And that's what you're playing with with the all that is. In order to do that, they kind of, it's kind of like taking a small little patch, sort of, of the all that is and intending all of this energy, all of this looking deep down inside and picking it apart in teeny, teeny, tiny ways. In order to do that, they did what's called, or we did, everyone did what's called fractaline. So there's energy waves, let's say that there's an energy wave, and in order to really look at that energy wave, then they kind of divided that wave down. And what they did is they divided, and then they divided again, and they divided again, and they divided again, kept on doing that. Break in the, the first big vibration. And let's say one of the first big vibrations that they broke was there was this wave of vibration, and we're gonna call that wave of vibration, and they took it and they divided it into two. One of them was dark, one of them was light. Another one that was the energy wave, that we would have broken into what's called um, masculine and feminine, okay? Those were the big primary divisions that you would be aware of, that you would understand. Then they kept going and kept going and kept going. And the more that they did this, the more that 
linear time space was needed in order to really fractal these waves down and divide them in. So on one hand, you've got a being like me that on the other side, I take these giant waves of energy, whole as they are, and I use those to like form with each other and make and create these new fantastic things that, that I make, you make, we all make. The opposite end of that uh, creationary process would be the process that's happening here, is going as small as you can and creating things with those very, very small waves, okay? This took a long, 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 long time, more than you could even fathom. And it took a lot of brains and a lot of people, and it was really pretty much done for the fun of it. That's why we do things. Now, as I've told you before, the entities that I call humans, long-term humans, mid-range humans even, really enjoy that, this this breaking down of these waves and the more that they broke it down the more physicality came into play and linear time space came into play and that changed over time <laughs> even though there's no such thing as time and it became more and more intense in order to get to what you all call the third dimension now on the other side it's not called the third dimension because it's just a part of the game and it's known as what it is. There's no name for it. We don't name things over there. We know them by their vibration. So the deal was that Gaia agreed to come here and try to get to this, what you call the third dimension. This was attempted several times. As far as I can tell, I've counted seven or eight, and then I stopped counting, but I know those for sure, and I have looked at those civilizations and their attempts to get to the third dimension. Eventually what happened was, um, and they tried different things. They tried like uh, human beings that had everything they ever wanted. Uh, and that didn't work. They had uh, human beings that were really kept very prisoner-like and had very little uh, of what they wanted and a lot of in-between. So basically what ended up happening is it took a lot more contrast. It took a lot more... Um, institutions in place in order to keep the gods that are here the inhuman form in amnesia took a, a lot more than what anybody expected there were some of us that didn't think it was possible but there were a lot more that thought you know it, that they were be capable of doing it faster but then you're talking about gods versus gods and that can be complex but it ended up being extremely complex very difficult and uh, it took a while for them to get the hang of it. Ultimately, where they got to the third dimension was not in the Dark Ages. It was actually civilized mankind. And the key to it was not only controlling uh, money, controlling food, controlling education, controlling just about everything in your life. They had to control all of that. But, and they had to keep people at each other. Because if you're busy fighting for X, then you don't have the time to stop and meditate or relax or become one back with oneness in any way shape or form and they didn't want that or the game was not that the game was to not do that uh, the point was to forget that you were a god and have an experience outside of that perception that um that knowingness so <clears throat> I know it sounds like it was all bad stuff, but that was all in order to make the game more real. They wanted it to be more real. If you remembered that you were a god, then all of that wouldn't be real. Well, most of the time, well, all the time, as, as a god, you've got everything that you could ever want. And what you don't have in the moment, you can create. I mean, it's just, that's the way it is over there. Nobody thinks about need or want or loss. Uh, those things just don't happen. So it was for those emotions, those vibrations, that um, entities come to play this game. They don't come to play the game to necessarily fulfill their godness here, because you don't need to do that. Uh, you can do that over where we came from. Uh, people came here, for the most part, for the experience of not being a god, that experience of of being hungry, that experience of uh, a lot of the things that you don't like. Uh, hold on. Uh, honey, could you keep that there and I'll call you. Okay. Thank you, honey. Bye, girl. 
Um, anyway, they came for that experience. It's like I've tried to tell you guys. Um, people that climb to the top of mountains, it's not fun, it's not easy. Uh, a lot of people die climbing to the top of Mount Everest, but they do it for the experience. That's what people come here for. They come for the experience. And it's a really intense experience. It really is. It's uh, a heck of a ride. Whenever you get done and you're on the other side, uh, there is a lot of hoopla about having had this experience. There's a lot of communication back and forth about it. All right. <clears throat> so back to what I was doing. All right, so we're back to fractaling these, vib these, these waves of vibrations. They're not lines because um, lines are, they're not really waves either, but that's closer than a line because a line is very start to finish. It's very, you know, well, in a line. And these energies are moving all the time, moving all the time. So they would take these, these waves of energies and they'd fractal them down. And it was in that process that I can get into later about how this was all created. But for right now, it is all of those, those divisions of those waves. So what we're doing is to get back and put those waves back together, so to speak. Okay? So you put these waves back together, it forms a bigger wave, and then you find the wave that goes with it, and then you put that back together, and it's a bigger wave and a bigger wave. Now, in the process, all of those little waves, nothing is wrong with those. So from the aspect of a human being, um, the aspects of the undivine anything um, was never undivine. It just, you, people didn't have the whole picture. It was just part of the all that is. And you just saw part of it. It took out part of it in order to have the contrasting experience so that you could separate. What was divine was divided. That, uh, that perfect, let's say, wave was divided into two pieces so that there would be contrast, so that people could um, be extremely uh, feminine energy and interact with extremely masculine energy. What would happen in that? And a lot happened, and a lot was created, and a lot of experiences were created. But now that is all changing because Gaia is leaving the game. Now there's still lots and lots and lots of, of uh, planets that are now in third dimension. Now there are ones that are in the second and heading on down. Or it's not really down, but you would consider it now. Um, but they got the hang of it with this one. This one was really what changed everything because then really there was a big idea on how to continue this game and go even further with it so actually the second dimension was pretty easy to get to it looks to me like uh what you would call the first dimension there seems to be a little bit more of a struggle there so i think they're gonna have to figure out something else but it looks like three and two could be very very close to uh, one another which does not surprise me at all and the fourth dimension is the fourth dimension. There are planets all over the place that are in all kinds of dimensions in the fourth dimension that are going up and out of the game, into the game, lower into the game, popping in, popping out. They're all over the place. It's just the planet of Gaia that is moving pretty quickly out to what you would call the fifth dimension. And then she will continue on, on up and out. Okay? So in order for her to do that, then there are a lot of these waves that are being put back together. Now, when that happens, the contrast is no longer there. Okay? So from a human bodysuit perspective, and I told you guys that this was going to happen, that there is a, a big gap between two specific groups. Okay? And we're, uh, neither one of them is better than the other. I'm not saying that. But there is a higher vibration that matches closer to the fifth dimension and there's that group and that group is learning very quickly to laugh everything off that um well some things are getting to be so bizarre that it's pretty easy to laugh off but then there there are the laughers the happy ones and then there are the angry ones and that in between stage of of being eh those vibrations are collapsing into the other waves so they're not easily accessible to you in your skin suit like they were 
because now they are instead of being separated out like they had been and one of the big things was human emotions that was fractal down uh, I've told you guys before I think I have like five emotional states whereas a long-term human I don't even know infinite uh, they have so many different emotional states that I couldn't even keep up it's very very difficult for me to keep up with a long-term humans emotional state changes because they do it so often well that's a part of like getting down to the individual different vibrations and how they can be experienced in the human bodysuit okay those that were broken down and that were kind of like laying out on the counter that anybody could get to at any time because of this defractaline they're going back into the wave so now you can't get to them near god you can do anything but now you have to go into a really big cupboard that's like five stories tall that has no directions and you have to go find that vibration okay now you can find them there are vibrations that you've used your whole life but it is hard to do it is it it takes time which usually um, when you're in a certain emotional state you go to an emotional state it goes relatively quickly that's not happening now and so what is happening is people in general are choosing one side or the other and that in between vibrational emotional states are folding into the both ends you know they're collapsing into the bigger end so the little defractaline was doing with okay let's say I'm mildly annoyed I'm really a little bit more annoyed okay those are two different emotional states that humans have not me but humans and those two are, would be say they collapse together first and then let's say I'm mildly annoyed merged with I'm annoyed and those went together into a wave and then uh, and it was like that with every kind of emotion every kind of vibration really but you're gonna the reason why I'm doing this video is because you're gonna notice it in your emotional state because what a human will do if you've been on this planet is you'll go through the day and you will have a quick immediate response especially if you're over 25 you're gonna have a quick immediate response to any particular circumstance if somebody cuts you off you'll have your way of dealing with that if somebody um, noses their way in front of you in a, a line at the grocery store you're gonna have an immediate way of dealing with that if your uh, granddaughter comes up and runs up and gives you a big old hug and says I love you you're gonna have an emotional response to that those will be very different for everyone now because all the in-between ones are folding into these waves of the bigger ones because the biggest waves are at the top kind of like light and dark so they're folding into what what you would say maybe um, love and fear um, happy and sad I don't know name them whatever you want to name but these these vibrations are dividing into that major two waves they're collapsing back into the waves that they came from it's what everything's doing collapsing back into the waves that it came from and eventually of course all of it will collapse back into one and that'll go back into oneness at that time though Gaia will be um, out of the game as you will you collapse everything in now from a personal standpoint from you and for the planet around you what I feel is that people are really struggling here a lot of those mid-range go-to emotional states that people have grown to get used to and use uh, are no longer easily available so because it's usually a spontaneous moment whether it's happy or sad it's a spontaneous moment so if you've been kind of an out there outgoing give hugs to everybody very quickly laugh and joke then you will be fine with the moments that call for those kind of activities although you may over respond because this is what what will happen because very quickly the easy vibrations that you can access are pretty happy now and pretty not happy now okay that's what you're going to go those are your instant options so let's say um, I don't know a, a child in Danny's 
smiles and waves at you. You might go overboard because those middle range vibrations are not available. So you might go, oh, hi, instead of just going, you may go, oh, hi. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? So your responses, and the same thing can be true in a negative way. So let's say somebody cuts you off. Instead of frowning and just going, that one's not available anymore. So you've got an option. You can either blow it off and go to the happy face and go, oh, I hope they have a better day now and smile through it. Or you can bounce to the lower side and you can be very angry. And what I'm seeing is these in-between fractals of energy that are emotion based that's the vibrations that you go to whenever you have an emotional response to something um, that they're disappearing so much that I'm seeing people rea overreacting so my guess is although I don't I just read people I don't watch the news or anything is that there's going to be a lot of talk of I would say a really big sur insurgence of or in whatever a lot more of uh, bipolar people supposedly um, probably uh, a lot of people losing it over stupid stuff a lot more than normal um, I would say probably a lot of people being thinking that people are on drugs that they're not uh, because if you're in a mid-range regular person and you're just kind of going through life uh, what you're going to do is you're probably going to go to the closest end. So if you're, you have an event that's happy, you'll go to the closest vibration available. And that will probably be uh, happier than is appropriate for the, for the circumstance. Uh, I don't think, for the most part, many people are going to say anything about that, about you being overly happy, but they might, especially if it's at work. Um, then if it's a negative response, then your people are, are going to the closest vibration on the negative side of the, into the negative wave of emotional response. And this will mean that they're overreacting to something that they perceive as negative. Now for anybody that's following me, that if you want to go to 5D, all the practice and all the stuff that I've talked to you about for two years now comes into play everything that I've said becomes very very important well why is that well number one if you've only got those two options in the middle of it is getting to be less and less and less now you've got to be extremely conscientious about what you're thinking and how you respond to something because you when you have a negative response it will go to that negative end that negative end is more powerful than what your it will send out a negative message to the law of attraction and it will be much stronger that will cause more of that energy to come back into your life that's the way the law of attraction works but fortunately the same thing is true with the positive stuff so if you go to the closest one that you've got even if it's over it's overkill for what you should be happy about that also sends a message to the law of attraction now, how this works is it forms a division without it telling anybody what to do is you get to choose. You get to choose what kind of experience you want to have. And if you're still into the contrast, um, mostly this is control freaks, which I am. <laughs> control freaks, people that have to keep a line and everything's got to make sense all the time. They've got to be organized. Well, as these things, these vibrations fold into the bigger it's not so well organized anymore that and it's moving very fast guys so this entails instinct you have to use your instinct instinct is not a good thing for control freak people they want to see actual hard facts and that's fine if you want to continue this game and anybody who would like to that is fine i'm just saying that in this process of right now that with these center things, these vibrations inaccessible for most part, I can get to them, but it would be tricky for the average person to go find those other vibrations. So you're going to go to the one end or the other, and what this does is it adds momentum. So, and it divides. It divides people. Um, really divides people because it, you go to the negative one, and these people are, are angry, very angry. 
and for the most part, a lot of them are overly angry for stuff that's kind of uh, silly. And a part of them knows that, but they can't access anything else, and that's all they know to do. So they go to the anger, sends a law of attraction message, they want more of the same. And of course, it brings down more to make them angry, and then they get angry and angry. And that vibration is kept alive. Why? Because there's a certain group of people on this planet that want to have an end of the planet 